สวัสดีครับ and good morning hello uh, thanks so much for joining us uh, for our final virtual program uh, in a series of four uh, called Thai food in America passport to the Northeast uh, my name is Brian Hoffman I am a, a white male in my early 40s uh, wearing glasses and a collared gray shirt and I uh, I'm a guide here with Turnstile Tours uh, I'm also a food blogger and a passionate lover of Thai food so uh, and culture, Thai food and culture. So I'm, I'm very excited to be able to host most of these programs. Um, the series that we've been doing uh, are uh, sponsored by Thai Select USA, and we're very thankful for that and uh, it, happy to be a part of it. And we're exploring Thai cuisine and culture in the United States, uh, and we're taking a deep dive specifically into the stories of Thai communities and restaurants within the Northeast of the United States. Um, So this is, we're closing out our series uh, today, but you can view the previous three virtual programs we've done, including the um, virtual map that we've created, listing all the Thai Select USA restaurants in the Northeast. And you can watch videos and recipes and uh, interact with the map and learn about the different uh, regions of Thai cuisine and uh, where to get the best uh, Thai cuisine in the Northeast of the United States. So. Um, These are the previous programs that we have done that you can view on our webpage, uh, which will be dropped into the chat. You can click onto that. Our first episode, um, we uh, talked all about Thai ingredients and visited a uh, Thai food importer and learned about how we get Thai ingredients from Thailand onto our plates, whether it be in our own home kitchen or at a local restaurant. Uh, episode two, um, we, uh, we learned about Thai immigration and uh, changes in Thai American cuisine, and we visited two restaurants in the Baltimore, D.C. area. And then uh, episode three, last week, we, uh, we visited two restaurants here in New York City uh, in the outer boroughs to learn about communities and family recipes. Um, uh, we went to um, Sabai Thai in Queens and, um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Wanisa Family Kitchen in Brooklyn and visited with uh, Joe DiStefano, who's a, a food writer and expert on Queens and communities out there. So you can check out these previous ones. They're all available on our website. So, uh, so today what we're doing is we are getting sort of a two-part grand finale. First, we are going to be doing a uh, special mini Thai lesson uh, on Thai language with Ticha Gatsdiri Ho, uh, a lecturer and PhD candidate at the University of Albany. She's also a private tutor and language consultant. So we're going to learn some important uh, Thai phrases and Uh, things you can use maybe at your local restaurant. And then we'll be going live to Bangkok, uh, where we'll be able to practice some of those phrases. Uh, we'll be going to Sum Tum Dare, an international restaurant uh, with locations, of course, in Bangkok, also here in New York, uh, and other parts around the world as well. And they've really uh, helped introduce certainly the United States and, and other areas to Isan cuisine. So we'll be talking about that as well. And I'm very excited to bring on and introduce uh, Professor Ticha Gatesdiri uh, Ho. So welcome to the program, Ticha. How are you I, doing? I think I got your name right, I hope. I know you're, you're the language uh, teacher, so <laughs> I'm going to get some lessons here. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, So before we get into the, the lesson, I, we'd love to learn a little bit more about you and your background. Um, you, you're from Thailand yourself. Mm -hmm. And so where are you from and, and how did you and when did you end up moving to New York City? Well, I mean, I moved here in 2005. Um, I guess I did graduate schools and everything. And then um, I'm now an English professor. I teach writing in New York City, but I also like, uh, like what you were saying, like I teach Thai on the side. Mm -hmm. And how did you get into that? What, it, moving from Thailand, was that your initial sort of goal? Or I mean, I guess I used like I had a lot of American friends. I was living in uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand, which is like a, a tourist destination also. Um, so I was teaching them Thai when I was there and I was also teaching English, like I teaching English when I was um, living in Thailand as well. So I guess when I moved here, I guess I figured, you know, why not continue what I've been doing? And it's been working well. Great. Yeah, and so and tell us also a little bit about your your private lessons. You know, you teach at the university, but then you have private students for for Thai classes. Tell us a little about that and how people can maybe find out about your classes. They'll get a little taste today, but yeah. they want to continue. Well, the website is called practicalthai.com. 
and then you can like you know find out all the information over there i post some like lessons and um some worksheet um you don't even have to take a lesson with me there's some worksheet that you can just check out and play with it great excellent so um well so so let's let's talk a little and if anyone has any other questions again please drop them in but i'm excited i, I mean i know a little bit of I know some of the food words, you know, just eating out and about in Thai restaurants, but I'm really excited to learn more about the the language and how to communicate. Um, so, so, well, let's, I guess, I usually when I learn a little bit of language, of course, the alphabet is, is something I like to, I don't think we're going to be able to learn the whole alphabet. Is there an alphabet? It is an alphabet, right? Yeah, it's kind of like the whole <clears throat> alphabet consonant systems. So it's kind of like, um, yeah, it's kind of similar to English. So like, um, so the sign correlate to the sound. So it's kind of not, so it's not the same like in Chinese. So Chinese, you kind of memorize it as like the picture system, right? But like in Thai, it's just like, so this is an M sound. It's just like, you know, so this is a G sound, for example. Mm -hmm. Right, I think we have a slide. We're gonna try to to pull that up to show everyone so we can we can look at some things as we go. Um, so how many, Oh, here we go. Great. Okay, so, um, so there's 44 consonants, right? And then 32 vowels. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they're not as trending as the sound. It's kind of like so the vowel list is actually like those are like short vowel and long vowels type of thing. So like that's why that's why it look like a lot because in English you have like 26 and then like um a e i o u is also work as like you know it's in that the whole list right? right but in thai we have like um the constant list and then like the vowel list mm -hmm. so and i'm just looking at the examples of the vowels so it, it almost looks like you put it, are those consonants next to the vowels yeah mm -hmm. cuz like we kind of needed to kind of make the sound i see okay so that's actually it's a little bit like i know uh, uh, learned a little bit of hebrew and that's kind mm -hmm. of a similar I, I think where you you add the vowel like underneath the consonant, so it does it kind of exists together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the vowels can go like in in four direction. It could be like come the front, come the back, and the top and the bottom. So you kind of have to memorize like when you see in like um you have to memorize where the vowels would actually go. We also have the tone marks, so that's like the fun part. Oh right, yes. So depending upon where the vowel is placed, would that make a different pronunciation or yeah, a different so like tone? Yeah, like for example, if you look at like the first one in the yeah. vowel, so it's just ah. Ah. And the second one is ah. Ah, ah and ah. Okay. Uh, the tone is tough for uh, yeah. for an English speaker, but. No, we haven't even worked with the tone yet. So this is oh, we haven't. Oh, this isn't even flat. tone. Okay. Like, it's kind of like, this is flat. <laughs> Um, yeah, so ah, ah, e, e, that'd be like, you know, so the vowel on the vowel is. E, e. Mm -hmm. So those are, you can hear the longer sort of pronunciation. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, great. And then um, I, I know we can't go through all four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at this. Okay. So like, I kind of like, so kind of like, so that you get a taste of what it looked like in terms of like, you know, how it translated into English and whatnot. Uh -huh. so like for example, so I spell your name in in, in Thai, right? So like, um, so you have the vowels, the tall one on the, in the front. So that's the I sound. Okay. Right. And then, so you have like a B, so the second one. So that is the B equivalent to a B sound. But because because the rule of that particular vowel is like um so in English you almost like have to kind of like swish it back like that right so it's like so that's why the vowel go first in this case so a i b r so you have the first sound right so brian and then the second one is you have um and I gave you a little bit of tone mark it's okay <laughs> yeah like, yeah. So it actually says, so it's bright and I mean, of course, you can actually take out the tone mark with actually bright and. And the tone mark or the two, the, the, the letter that's, I'm sorry, I don't know the letters, the yeah, second so the from the right. The one on the very top. On the very top is the tone mark. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how many tone marks are there? Four. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, it's so like uh, there's five tones all together, so it's like flat. And then there'll be like falling, rising, high, low type of thing. I see. 
So it's okay. not as complicated as like, let's say Cantonese, for example, is that's more toned. But um, in Thai, the tone mark is, um, is dictated like how you have to say the right tone because otherwise it actually change the meaning of the word. Like mm -hmm. for example, the word like ma is to come. Ma is horse, which I think is like Chinese if you have Chinese speaker in the house. Um, ma is a dog. So you have wow. to kind of get the exact tone right. Like and right. otherwise you, you know, is, is this a dog or a horse? Right. Um, you don't want to you don't want to ride the dog and uh, yeah. uh, play catch with the horse. You yeah. want to make sure that you get that right. Um, so so this so the so the you would pronounce this though Brian or something yeah. similar, uh, but but the the B and the, the consonants follow that first vowel. It's sort of like you see the vowel and know how to pronounce it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Wow, this is really cool. Uh, thank you for for doing that. Um, then okay. we can learn how to order food. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have like, so, and then um, you know, like we can actually come back to this list later also. So I have like all the different way to make food. And like, so now you know that like you know when you go to a Thai restaurant, if you see something with pots, you know there's something still fry, for example. Mm. So you actually kind of like figure out the menu a little bit. Mm -hmm. like pad so, Thai, which of course everyone exactly everyone's familiar with, it refers to stir fry. Mm -hmm. So you have um, gin is to eat. Okay. Gin. Um, gin, okay. Pot. Pot. Mm -hmm. Pod. Pod. Mm -hmm. Tom. Yeah. Tom. Mm -hmm. Gang. Gang. Mm -hmm. Bing. Bing. Mm -hmm. And now we have- And were we doing tone there? I was kind of trying to- Yeah, so like that tone thing. There is tone, yeah, okay. Like I was trying to to respond from what you know uh -huh. what you were doing, but I, I wasn't yeah, sure if I was doing tone. It's hard for someone who's you know speaks a language that's not like tonal. For, yeah, it's like for an English speaker, like um, when they learn Thai, I should be like they wanna, am I getting this right? Because like in 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 English, you actually can you raise like you know the tone, the kind of like gin, like you know, but then like you know, so technically because oh. the tone effect how you say it in Thai. So actually you have to kind of like repeat it exactly how you hear it, even though your English inclination would be. It's sort of a question mark. Yeah. We, we say it's sort of uncertain of ourselves. So it's interesting. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about language, but maybe English does have its own tone just based oh. on, I mean, certainly if I say, uh, I, I can't think of an example, but you could say the same sentence, uh -huh. uh, but it mean two different things depending upon how you yeah. And tone it. So yeah, we just don't, the, the words aren't, aren't necessary to, necessarily tonal. Exactly. So interesting. Okay, good. I'm glad to know that I was, tr I was doing, <laughs> trying to do the tones. Okay. So you have mu. Mu. Okay. Gai. Gai. Le. What is it? Oh my, oh my. Let's do this again. So I oh. said, oh my, which means let's do it again. Oh, okay. Okay. Nua. Nua. Okay. Gung. Gung. Pla. Pla. And then we have some food. Gang kia wan. Gang kia wan. Tom yum. Tom yum. Gui tiao. Gui tiao. Pad thai. Pad thai. Pad pak. Pad pak. Som tam. Som tam. So we're gonna learn how to make some time today, right? We are, that's right. At yeah. the, the second uh, half of the program, we will. So that's important to know. Okay. So um, you have, okay, so you can use call. Call, oh, so that's sort of like, it's asking for? Yeah, exactly. call. So call, and then you follow like call pad thai, call something like that. Call pad thai. Mm -hmm. So you just, yeah. And that, that, so that works outside of food as well? Is that sort yeah. of like, yeah. I want a yeah. towel yeah. or, a, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. And then you have um, doom. Doom. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's do it again. Doom. Doom. Okay, so drink. And that's drink. Okay. Nam. Nam. Mm -hmm. To like okay, so nam is water. Water. Um, cafe. Cafe. Coffee. Cha. Cha. Nam tan. Nam tan. Sugar. Okay. 
And then we have question word arai. Arai. Just mean what? And so, it, I mean, this is obviously more complex, but as as we know in English, you would change the tone. If I have a question, I'm going to ask it like this. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, would it the same thing? Was it is it the same sort of tone with a question? No. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it? It doesn't matter. It just is the tone yeah. of each word. Yeah, it's like yeah. you know, how to kind of like you not know, get that tone. I mean, okay. we do change the tone if we get too excited. <laughs> but then, like you know, but like but that like it does like a, something different. Okay. Good to okay. know. Good to know that we shouldn't do that. Okay. Next one, sai. Sai. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, my sai. My sai. Mm -hmm. So you oh, can so put in something. You don't put in something. So I was just we're gonna play with like. Coffee, no sugar, type of thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Sawadi. Sawadi. So that means hide. Okay. Right. Um. Khop now, well, I, oh, I guess we'll get there. Okay, sorry. Sawadi. Kapkun. Kapkun. Okay. That's thank you. Yeah. My pen dry. My pen dry. So this one is almost like some people talk like the Thai attitude, so kind of like it's okay. It's it has like a lot of meaning. So you have like, um, it's okay, never mind, you're welcome. Like, no you know, problem, kind of like sort you know, of. really kind of easy. Yeah, really easy going attitude. I think it's very tight. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Joey asks, um, how does to say Thai iced tea? So that'd be chai yen. Chai yen. Yeah, so we have the word yen means ice. Tea, right? And yen is coal. Ah, okay. Chai yen. Or, or if you want to ask for an iced tea, it's, would you say ka chai yen? Exactly. Gang mm -hmm. ma Very good. So that okay, good. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, so you have, um, so you have a crop is, so crop is the male version and ka is the female version, depending on the speaker. Right. Okay. So I would always use crop. Ka chai ka. And you would always use ka. ka. Mm -hmm. Right. So it has to do with, okay, right. That's, I know that's different in different languages. I know like in Spanish, I know a decent amount of Spanish. Uh -huh. It has to do with who, who you're talking to, I believe. Now I'm all confused. Oh, so that's, all right. That's why I get that, ask that question a lot. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I never actually understand why people ask me that question. Now you teach me something. Yeah. yeah I think so. um, Good. Okay. Next one is Aroy. Aroy. Mm -hmm. So you see that's like we have aroy, which is what, right? Aroy is delicious. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So that's- You gotta make sure you say it. So yeah. aroy and aroy. Aroy is an aroy. Aroy. The vowel is different, right? So just yeah. like a syllables. There's a restaurant in New York called aroy. I think- <laughs> So we know it is delicious. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay, so can we go to the next? Um, okay. So now we can also okay. learn how to call in Thai. Okay, so we have um, nung. Nung. Oh my, nung. Nung. Song. Song. Sam. Sam. Si. Si. Ha. Ha. Hok. Hok. Jet. Jet. Bad. Bad. Mm -hmm. Good. Gao. Gao. Sip. Sip. Mm -hmm. Sip. Oh. So we were counting. Those were the we went through one through ten there. So that's kind of thing. Uh, yeah, some yeah, some numbers. I think like pretty similar to Chinese and Korean. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna try to put this together. All right. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess like I mean I'll give you some clue words or like you know kind of um. Okay. So Let's how do you say like could I have something? Right, it's cow. Am I call, not call. 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 Right, so call. Call. And then, and then is is there should I do I need to say something for have or do I just is no just call. like I have thing. Call is asking for it. So yeah. then you just say call and then does shrimp come before pad thai? Oh so pad thai and then shrimp. Pad thai gung. Right. Okay. So, so call. So call gung. Pad thai, oh, pad thai gung. You go right because call pad thai gung. gung. Which means, could I have shrimp pad thai? Which right. I would like, please, <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, next one is also pad thai is delicious. Okay, and is there a word for is, or I just say pad thai delicious? Is the, is so what I mean? Pad the adjective just like 
come like you know after it so there's no we have the word to be but it's to be with now in that case is so you have pad thai so it's woman beautiful you don't have to say woman is beautiful because that's always that's the like pad thai is always delicious right <laughs> right and yeah. women is always beautiful women is always beautiful. <laughs> but um so you have okay. uh so pad thai aroi Aroi. Aroi. Oh, it looks so, like a, we have a question. Oh, my God. So, uh, has so. a question. So, if it's um. Oh, good question. He asked, do you need to end? How close you are with that person. So it's almost like you draw formality after, like, you know, like a while. So, technically, you don't have to say ka and krab all the time, but like uh, you could. So, that's a, yeah, that was a great, great question. If anyone didn't see that, he asked if you need to end. These requests with polite markers mm -hmm. and i guess once once you yeah. get to know someone yeah so you then you don't let that go okay okay uh One. okay right so the word uh, ring is doom. doom right doom okay so and what is are arai 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 so i just say arai noom uh, doom 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 arai Oh, doom arai. So drink what? And you put that in parentheses. I need to read the English to see that. I should have been able to. Uh, yeah, doom arai. Doom arai, right? Doom arai. Like, and again, um, I don't have to do that question. That's sort of like, what would you like to drink? Just doom arai. Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay. So I think, um, yeah. Uh, yes. And then could I, could I have water would be uh call nam very good call nam call nam nam call nam mm -hmm. and did we learn beer i don't think yeah it's beer <laughs> oh beer is beer okay oh, that's easy God. to know and uh okay so i think i remember I two here and number two is song good. song good. Very good. Mm -hmm. song okay so call uh, song beer or beer song you could actually say call beer song. Beer song. Mm -hmm. Call beer song. Ka. Okay. Because I know another, like I know, again, in Spanish, I know that you, the adjective comes after the noun. Is that always the same in Thai? Um, yeah, actually, like, you know, come after the noun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, like which, house big, house white. Which makes sense if you think about it. I kind of English is, is backwards for sure. It makes sense to say what you're talking about before you say what it, what the, you know, uh, what it's like, what the adjective, what, can't think of the word. <laughs> <laughs> so we, now we're going to try to do the conversations. Okay. Yeah. So you have, okay. um, so I'll be a waitress. You're going to be the waitress and I'll be the customer, which yeah. is, is where I like to be. <laughs> okay. So I say, sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. Huh? Um... I did it. I reversed it. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, okay, so. Pad, okay, so let me start over. Uh, yeah, and is there a word for and that we should know? Should I? Um, so you can use cap. Cap? Cap. Mm -hmm. That's to connect things. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. and. Okay, so. Call. Uh, Pad Thai gung, kap kap tom yum gung. Good. Pad Thai gung and tom yum gung, na ka. Um, dum arai ha. Uh, ko uh, cafe yen. Thank you, Joe. Cafe yen. Uh, oh, without. Ooh. Um, I remember learning it, but I don't remember what it was. We have to cheat. Can you, what is without? How do I? My side. My sai, yes, my sai. So let me try again. Ko gafe yen my sai. Uh, what is it? Nam tan. Nam tan. Nam tan. So that is, I would like iced coffee without sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, ha. We use the word okay too. Okay. okay. And how you say thank you in Thai? Kap kon krap. Kap kon krap. Because I'm a male. Or just Capcon, Cap, uh, Capcun. Capcun, okay. All right, okay. so just want to review, like, you know, before we Thank go. You. So you have, um, 
สวัสดีใช่ไหม so สวัสดีครับ and สวัสดีค่ะ is all for so that like saying hi um so what you want to eat is like กินอะไร or sometimes yeah so กินอะไรค่ะ okay and then you have um ขอผัดไทยกุ้งกับต้มยำกุ้ง right and then you have but what you want to drink ดื่มอะไร okay and then ขอกาแฟเย็นไม่ใส่น้ำตาลไหมโอเคโอเคไหม and then ขอบคุณขอบคุณ and and again that, that you you get rid of the or you can get rid of the 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 gender is that what it's called uh, yeah like I mean I guess it's like to be polite in a big like you know kind of like um, sure yeah just use like ขอบคุณครับขอบคุณค่ะ or something Yeah, and certainly at a restaurant yeah. where you don't know the people, you're using right. those kind of things. Yeah, um, great. Was uh, excellent. I think that's the. Is that the last? Uh, that's the great. The finale, right? Where we start. That's that's fantastic. Um, does anyone have any any last questions for Ticha uh, before we go to Bangkok and we can use some of these? Um, Uh, and again, I um, I think it was dropped into the chat already, but we're going to make sure to drop your your website uh, into the chat so that uh, and of course you're doing now you're doing these classes these private classes are you doing them virtually now? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So you can take a lesson with me, and then um, yeah, so I'll be sitting in this room. <laughs> then <laughs> wherever you are, like you know, like um, we can have lessons. Yeah, and do do people like buy? You buy packages. You sign up for. Can someone do just one lesson? Is that not how it works? Like, like, like I mean, normally Thai takes a lot of time to sure. kind of like you know like um to learn. Yeah. Um, but um, I think uh, what I you know like what I suggest is that like so it's kind of six continuous in the beginning, and then after that like you know you can actually decide whether you want it like you know longer lessons and like that. Great, and we and actually we're going to be sending uh, everyone who's viewing today uh, the slides from the lesson today. So I know you weren't able to practice. Maybe hopefully you were practicing at home along with me, uh, but you'll be able to to take a look at that and use that for later on. So um, oh, I think there was one question. How do you say vegetarian? Huh. Okay. So <laughs> it's a bit long. Okay, repeat after me. Yes. Mang. Mang. Sang wirat. Mang sang. วิรัตวิรัตมังสังวิรัตมังสังวิรัตครับ is that right that like so you can say like กินมังสัง the shortest one you say กินมัง so like to eat มัง or something like that กินมัง because we kind of like the short and stuff and like a small thing with like if you go to Thailand when you see the sign that look like It's like this, and then it's like it's normally in yellow and red, and then it look like a Chinese word almost. That would actually be the sign for Mang like vegetarian restaurant. Oh, interesting! Oh, good to know. I can actually like drop the you know sign in the chat so you can. Sure. Have the, yeah, that's that'd be great. That would. Um, be. Yeah, and I it made me think. Uh, I think it was Amanda that asked that about vegetarian. Um, How about um, if someone is gluten free? I mean, that's kind of an important thing when you go to a restaurant. To uh, you know, obviously, there's a lot of allergies. I don't think we should go through all of them, but um, I don't know. Is that something? Because I know that's hard in other in other cultures to kind of convey. So, like, you don't eat soy or something, yet, right? Or well, like it's well, it would be wheat, uh, but there is wheat yeah, I guess, in like, soy sauce. What thing like, is there wheat in soy sauce? There is, yeah. Oh. But I know a lot of dishes are made with rice noodles. Like pad thai, I yeah. believe is usually always gluten free. Yeah, because I have like a friend in um. Yeah, I have a friend who's gluten like um like allergy to gluten. Um. It's okay. I put you on the yeah. spot, and I know it's probably uh. <laughs> uh huh. It's probably a tough one. Well, if you think about it, drop it yeah. into the chat, baby. Um. So we, uh, teacher, you're gonna you'll you'll be in the background, but you'll come on at the end, right? Yeah. We'll. Exactly. We'll do a little one more practice. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, but we are actually going to be able to try out. I guess I'm going to be able to try out a little bit of my uh, my time. Uh, but we're also going to be 
um, learning about uh, this wonderful restaurant, Sumtum Dare. We're traveling 9,000 miles an hour. We're going to Bangkok. Uh, and um, we are meeting with the CEO, Tachai Nakapan, who uh, will be joining us soon. I think the, the video is on. So this is, we're in Bangkok. Uh, and Sumtum Dare has locations uh, in many cities around the world, including in New York. There's a location both in the East Village and in uh, Red Hook, Brooklyn, which is their newest location. And I think um, uh, Kuntat is there. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, Wadi Kab, good morning. Um, hi. Hi. So, thank you so much for joining us. So, you're. Okay. You're, hi, Sawadi Kab. Sawadi Kab. So, now <laughs> tell us you're in Thailand, in Bangkok. So, what time is it yes. right now? And it's, uh, it's night. Nine, nine in the evening. It, it, at night. It's around like nine, nine evening. Like it's nine thirty already. Wow. We actually closing. Yeah, because you know, like right now, it's a, uh, it's we are in a period that is called like semi lockdown due to the pandemic. Uh, so all the restaurants in Bangkok has have to be closed by nine o'clock. Uh huh. So <laughs> you you got a special time. Uh yeah. Well, thank you for staying <laughs> yeah. staying around later. We really appreciate yeah. that. Um, no problem so at all. Tell us a little bit about, about yourself. How did you decide to open up Sumtum Dur? How did this all come about? Okay, so actually I got a economics and finance background. Believe it or not, I got my master's degree in NYU. And, oh. uh, and after that, so I, I came back to Bangkok and I, I you know, like I, I, I went into a financial industry for about like a few years. And then I found out that uh, finance and economic was wasn't really my thing. So I, you know, decided to uh, to pursue uh, a new career path. So I, uh, uh, you know, I started opening a restaurant. But the first one was uh, an, a French and American restaurant. So uh, after that, uh, I decided that well, since I'm a Thai and uh, we live in Thailand, so we should have a, a restaurant that kind of like promote Thai food. And uh, this restaurant can, you know, can, uh, can export to, and uh, can, uh, can go overseas to uh, across the globe. So everyone, you know, can understand the Thai food and have the real taste of Thai food. So that's why Som Tam De is opened. Yeah, and so, so how many locations are there now of Som Tam De? Uh, now for Som Tam De, we have two in Bangkok. And we have two in New York City, one in East Village, and another one in Brooklyn, in the Red Hook area. Yes. And we also have two branches in, in Tokyo, and also one in Ho Chi Minh City, and another one that the most recent open is in Taipei, in Taiwan. Oh, wow. So I think we have eight. Right. That's, an, that's great. Yeah, it sounds right. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so what is, the, what is the concept of the restaurant? You, you, some tum der, as we just learned, refers yeah. to a papaya salad, right? Yes, uh, some tam means papaya. Uh, some, uh, some tam means papaya salad. But der is like a suffix, you know, of, of Isan people. Like when we say like, 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 uh, like when when we say like kapun krap, which I heard that you just studied Thai language, you know, uh, before. So uh, uh, most Thai people will say kapun krap, but Isan people can say kapun der. So der is like ah. a suffix to make it more polite, more Isan. Oh, so somtam der is like uh, somtam uh, the way that Isan say about somtam, something like oh, that. Wow. And our concept is we uh, we sell the Isan food. So Isan is the region in the northeastern of Thailand. So this region is famous for many spicy dishes like som tam or lap or nam to. And uh, we bring all this regional Isan food to Bangkok in a, you know, modern ambience with a lively music, you know, with a contemporary, uh, contemporary design with the, the energy of the staff of everything and very casual and fun, this is our concept. But the most important thing is the taste. So the taste has to be really Isan, authentic local food. Like when, when, you know, like whenever we go to any country, like in the US or in Japan, the taste has to be 
the same and to make sure that this is the taste that Isan people eat at home. So wow. This is our concept. Yeah. Well, we actually have some photos to share. So we'll, we'll go through those photos. And um, sure. while we're pulling the photos up, Joe had a great question that maybe is a, mm -hmm. a longer conversation for us here. But he, uh, first of all, he says he loves Isan food, but uh, he's wondering if the Taiwanese so palate um, in Taiwan, in is Taiwan? that palate different for Thai food? Like, for instance, do Taiwanese like plara in mm -hmm. their sum sum? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we do serve uh, plara at, uh, at our Taipei restaurants. So uh, it, uh, it depends. So, you know, like we, we, every time when we open a restaurant abroad, we have to make sure that we have the right ingredient to, you know, like mm. to have the taste like as more similar to what we have in Bangkok. And uh, we just need more time to educate people in that, uh, in that country that, okay, this is the taste that Thai people eat. Like, as you mentioned, you know, some like Taiwanese may not be familiar with flora or salted fish, but right. once we educate them, they will try and, and they will like it. Well, that's mm -hmm. probably true. I would think in a, in a lot of the places yeah. that you've opened uh -huh. your restaurant outside of Thailand, certainly in, in New York, I mean, I, Yes. You know, mm -hmm. Certainly before you guys opened, uh, yeah. people were not as familiar with Isan food. You know, they knew Pad Thai exactly. and they knew drunk yeah. noodles and mm -hmm. but but Isan was a was a, a new flavor for them. And I, I I know that I've like Joe and many who have tasted it, I think everyone mm -hmm. who's tasted it has fallen in love with it. <laughs> um, so we're looking at some photos. So this one is the outside of the Bangkok uh, location that you're in yes. right now. This and, is where we are in right now, Som Tam Der Sala Dan. And it's, you have first, nice... uh, it's actually our first branch in Bangkok. It's our original branch. And there's some outdoor seating there as well. It looks, it looks yes. really yes. nice. Um, mm -hmm. And so this is the, uh, this is the Som Tam Bar, right? You're standing, this is where you're standing, I believe. Yes, this is where we are standing. This is the, okay, let me introduce our chef. Okay, this is oh, Chef Pia. Okay, yeah, why don't we? Okay. So, so and, and this, so is, uh, this is all the somtam ingredients that we usually have. This is our, the entire somtam bar. We usually will do it like ordered. Somtam will be cooked right here. So, you know, the customer will, will smell the sauce, smell the, the plara or the fish sauce, and, you know, hear the sound of, you know, when they, uh, thumb, the, the, thumb is like the word pounding to, to it with pow. The... Yeah, the pounding of the, the papaya. But, yeah. And so you, for those that are, that are not uh, able to see this, he's, they've got a whole setup of different ingredients. They've got a container with lime yes. and- uh, Right here. And dried fish, that dried fish, I guess. And yeah. uh, uh, this is the lime, this is the, this is, I think this, this is the salted egg. That's I the salted have. egg. Oh yeah. Yeah, salted egg. And this is the lime, Thai lime. This is the dried fish, uh, deep fried fish. Uh -huh. And this is the roasted peanuts, the dry, uh, shrimps, and this is the marinated mussels. This, mm -hmm. this is the field crabs. This is very delicious. Oh, wow. If, if you that. eat plara, you know, Thai people will eat this with uh, some tam plara and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And this is like bamboo shoot. Uh -huh. Marinated bamboo shoot. Well, and you can, and I love that you, you display how fresh everything is and how enticing it is. Yes. So you're mm -hmm. so that's part of when you, and all of your restaurants have this, this bar, is that correct? That's the. Exactly. This is the kind of like our signature display. So like some tamba is the, you know, kind of like the spotlight of the restaurant. So when people come in, people will see the bar and, you know, like the action of the chef pounding the, uh, the, the, uh, Powding the pestle with the motor. Amazing, yeah. You can sort uh -huh. of smell, hear, taste, see. It's all. It's yes. all the senses are are involved. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I think we have a. Oh, we had a question um, about uh, field crabs. Do you do you? Someone mm -hmm. had a. I guess this is Andrew. Probably had a dish with field crabs the other day. Do you yes. know how they get uh, them in the United States? Are you? Yeah. Are you able to get? Like how this. do you get those in the United States? Uh, luckily, we have importers. Like uh -huh. in in the US, uh, we have importers to import, you know, to import this um, many Thai ingredients to the United States. Especially in New York, New York is like we are lucky that New York has almost everything. E even more exotic ingredients than this, 
New York has it. So you guys are very lucky to have <laughs> to are. have the real taste of Thai food. Well, and Andrew, Thai, Thai ingredients. And Andrew tasted it at your restaurant mm -hmm. in Red uh, in the East Village. And um, he liked it. You he, liked it. I, I, I would imagine. I, I spoke to him not specifically about that dish, but about the uh -huh. whole restaurant experience. And he said it mm -hmm. was it was fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, I, and I've been to the restaurant in East Village. I haven't yet been to the Red Hook one. Um, but I've mm -hmm. been to the East Village a number of times, and every time mm -hmm. I'm just wowed by the by the flavor. You should try the Red Hook one. We have you know the outdoor cozy backyard there, and this is like I think it's spring in New York now, so it's the, yeah. the right yeah. time you know to sit at the backyard. So yeah. you just the Red cozy. Hook one opened opened just recently. Is that right? Open in uh, I think it, it opened in 2019. 2019. Okay. okay. Yeah. A few months before the COVID began to, to hit the country. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, there was a photo that we just saw for a moment of, um, of an accepting of a Michelin uh, race. Yes. You guys, mm -hmm. tell us about that. Okay. Uh, that is the, the night that uh, we got announced, uh, we, uh, that we received the one-star Michelin that was in 2016. And the lady who was with the Michelin mascot was our partner who takes care of Som Thunder East Village and wow. Red Hook. Uh, this is uh, Kun Nui, Kun Supani, Kit Mahawong. So if you come to our restaurant in, 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 in New York, you'll probably meet her. She'll be there like most of the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, okay, great. So we will look for her and congratulations <laughs> on that. Um, and Thank so you so much. Food, we have some food photos before we get into the cooking, which we'll do, sure. we'll do in a uh -huh. moment. Um, I, I don't know if you can see this, but um, this is, uh, it looks like grilled rice cakes, like on a stick. Um, okay, the good. The, yeah. I think that's, that's the Nia Rong Hai. Nia Rong Hai is like the, it's the beef, like, but we marinated it with the roasted rice and chili. So it would mm -hmm. taste like spicy. And we, uh, we grill it with the, uh, to, uh, to make a, uh, to have the aroma of the marinade and the roasted rice come out, and uh -huh. then we eat it with the sticky rice. And yeah. we, the way we, the way we do sticky rice is that we uh, uh, kind of like make it in skewer, so it's easy to eat. But this is just the way that Isan people eat sticky rice too. We call it kauji, you know, like in in a, you know sticky rice on a stick, something yeah. like that. And I, I think mm -hmm. many and we grill the sticky rice too. Yeah, so sticky rice, I, you know, I see it mm -hmm. a lot as a dessert. Uh, at, at Thai restaurants, but that of course is is a savory. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it so. it can be savory or dessert too, depends yeah. on how sweet the sticky rice is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm wondering. I'm I'm, uh, I'm. It looks uh, looks delicious. Um, so uh, so should we get into some of the cooking? And if anyone has any yeah, other sure. questions, oh oh, before okay. we do, I guess we have a few other photos, um, mm -hmm. real quick to share because. We want to be able to see all of, not all of the food, but many sure. of the food photos. This, I think this is the okay. dish you're going to make today. This is the sum tum with oh, okay. salted uh, egg and... Salted egg and lapet. So today we are doing two demonstrations. Uh, the first one is sum tum, uh, tam thai kai kem. Kai kem means salted egg. So uh, that is the sum tum, the papaya salad with salted egg. And another one is lapet. Lab is like spicy salad and pet uh -huh. is duck. So uh, duck. we do the spicy duck spicy salad. Okay, so shall we? Okay, uh, shall we go into kit, uh, go into the yes, kitchen and like talk this with is, the chef? This is so really exciting. Do the demonstration, please. Okay, Pippi, I come like up. Okay, so uh, the chef gonna start with the. Okay, so this is the the garlic. Okay. And uh, uh, we you garlic it's the garlic with the skin, okay. And ah. and this is the chili, mm -hmm. Thai chili. So yeah, beautiful. Okay. okay. So the technique is we have to use the Thai garlic with the skin because the aroma of the Thai garlic is you know like strong, uh, strong and more aroma than the Chinese or, or than the uh, you know European garlic. You know like because mm -hmm. like. The Western garlic, when we when you use uh, when you use for pasta, it's like bigger, but 
the aroma is different. So for some time, we only use like the garlic like this, Thai garlic. Ah. And okay. is that something and when, that and you're able to get in, in, in places like the U.S.? That particular yes. garlic, you can get it. Yes. Oh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then uh, the mix, mix the garlic and the uh, chili together. And then, okay, next one is the roasted peanuts. Roasted peanuts. Okay, put them in the mortar. And then uh, this is the dry shrimps. Uh -huh. All right. And uh, then powdering, you know, and mixing everything. You get a workout working at uh, some tub dirt. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh -huh. The chef doesn't need to go to the team at all. No, certainly not. <laughs> Especially all day long, the long shift to doing this. And then the next is like put some vegetables. It's the long, long green beans. Long green beans. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, put them in. And then uh, tomato. Okay, so he's going to slice some tomatoes in. Oh, wow. In. I love he's slicing okay. it right off the, the, the pestle. Yeah. Or is, that the, is that the mortar or the pestle? I, I know mortar and pestle. I'm actually not sure which is which now that I think yeah. so. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you know what, for like when, when you do some time, you have to use the mortar, uh, the, the mortar and pestle that is made of wood. Oh, okay. Because, you know, like, like in, in Thailand, we have like many kinds of motor, uh, uh, motor and pestle and some are made of, you know, like stone. But the, if you use the stone one, it's, it's too heavy. You know, you're going to, everything going to be crushed, you know, like too much. So for some time, we have to use the, uh, the wood one, the wooden one. And now, okay, so you can see the sauce. This is the somtam sauce. Okay. You know, so he can put in, and sometimes salt is actually made of the tamarind sauce and uh, lime juice and sugar. So, so you got the sour and sweet. Okay. Okay. Uh, lime juice, fish sauce, tamarind sauce, and sugar mixed mm. together into this uh, somtam Thai sauce. Okay, and mix together. And then add some, this is the highlight of this dish. Salted oh, the egg. salted egg. It's a boiled salted egg. Okay, then he slices it in. And the slice. yolk is, is very brown there, you can yes. see. Yes, okay. Wow. Okay, okay, then you see how he slices it and he put them in. Yeah. Okay, I put more, some more egg yolk. All right. Okay, and then, yeah, this is the technique. So you can see that he's trying to kind of like crush the, the egg yolk to make sure that it, you know, like the, the saltiness and the like fattiness of the egg yolk goes, you know, blend together with the, with the sauce. So this is how it makes this dish delicious. Ah, okay. You can see. And so the next. There okay, were some so questions gonna, about. Uh, yes. we've, we've answered some of them, but um, in, if someone doesn't have a wooden mortar and pestle at home, uh, okay. if they don't want to go out and buy one, have... is okay. there, it just won't be the same. I mean, you could do this in a different kind mm -hmm. of mortar and pestle, right? But it won't. You could, yeah. But if you want to make, you know, a professional, you better use the wooden one. Wooden. But yeah. if you can't find a wooden one, okay, the, the brick one or, you know, like the stone one is okay, but it's, wouldn't be as good, you know. Sure. Yeah. But I, I think you get... can find it in, in, in New York. You, yeah. you can go and ask, you know, you can go and ask Kunui, Kun Supani at some number. I think you, she can help you find. Okay. <laughs> she well, can she recommend can... you That's a... to find. I think like in New York there are, you know, like many Thai grocers of yes, Thai Yes, indeed. Market. Yes. Yeah. And and, and def I I think you can easily get there. Get yep. one there. Yeah, there was a All suggestion. Right? for Thai Thai grocery in, in Queens and yeah, three aunties. They are so. a lot in Queens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. So, okay, so okay. where are we now? Now, so uh, then he's going to put, uh, the chef going to put the papaya in. So this is the sliced papaya. Uh -huh. So uh, we have to make sure that all these sliced papaya are kept, you know, in, in, your, in an ice cold, you know, package. So, you know, so it, we have to put the ice on top of it, you know, all the time. So to oh, make wow. sure that it's crispy. You know, and uh, once he, you know, but he has to make sure that uh, he, uh, that when you use the, when, when he used the sliced papaya, like, he kind of like make sure that all the water drips away. So if there's a, a lot of water in the papaya, it's going to make the taste milder. 
So mm. you know, so kind of like to drip all the water out and then put uh, put the uh, sliced papaya in and then mix. Maybe don't tam, right? Okay. okay. So well, once the papaya is in, uh, he just has to mix it. No need to pile anymore because uh-huh. it it will make the the papaya less crispy and it will crack them. That okay. makes sense. Yeah. All right. So yeah. said. Okay. He said it's done. Okay. Okay. Then please do the plating. So now side we get to eat it. I wish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's, it's good to know that there's lots of sumtum durs in the world. So. You should have one sort of close by, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> not quite, not quite yet. But if you're in New York, certainly you can head to the ones uh, in uh, Manhattan and Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, oh, and you're so wow. lucky you have two options. Yeah. And so are yeah. the, the menus in Brooklyn? The, are the menus the same in, in the East Village in Brooklyn or are there little differences? Yes, pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That looks fantastic. And jo- Joe is using his... And the uh, tastes the taste are exactly the same for two branches. Yeah. So yes, yeah. oh, Roy, Mark Mark. Uh, oh, Roy, Mark Mark. Yeah. yeah. This so is I, one of the top sellers dishes in, in Som Tam De, New York. Okay. Both in East Village and Brooklyn. So this is, if this is your first foray into uh, Isan cuisine and, and eating at Som Tam De, yes. this is a good place to start. All right. Okay. And if you, you know, like you can tell our staff, you know, like on the level of Beautiful. spiciness that you want, because so, like, you know, like some people cannot eat spicy food. You can tell them, okay, I want, you know, like just one piece of chili or no chili at all. It will be also, you know, also delicious, but just we, we will adjust the different, uh, the, the spicy level uh, according to your liking. I'm curious, in, in Bangkok, mm-hmm. do people mm-hmm. order, do they change the spice level or they just order and you know how people want to eat it? Uh, yes, believe it or not, Thai people oh, are yeah? very picky. Okay. So, you know, like, staff, even, even for Thai people, the staff will ask anyway, like, how many chilies do you want? Some will say, well, no chili, and some will say, okay, put two, three, ten, many, many chilies. Uh, for, for our standard, like, for this, how many chilies for this? Like, like for some tam thai, like this, like tam kai kem, our standard is three chilies. Three chilies. And but, remind me what, yeah. how to say three in Thai. We learned it. I'm sorry, teacher. Sam. Sam. Okay. Sam. Sam. Three. Okay. Okay. So that's so an important gonna... time to use your numbers is how many chili yeah. peppers you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, now we're moving to uh, another one. This is the uh, la pet. Okay. Okay. Joe is mentioning. He says that uh, he's found that uh, people from Bangkok like less mm-hmm. spice than people from Isan. He's noticed from uh, his uh, mm-hmm. his experiences in in Queens with the Thai community. Yes. So, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so now we're doing the the duck lab. The duck lab. All right. Okay. So learn the cup. So this is the, the vegetable stock, mm-hmm. the soup. Okay, so, so lab is basically kind of like the way we can like boil the meat, either, you know, the, the chicken or the, the pork that you like, or in, in this case, this is duck. So okay. we boil it with, with the soup and then we mix it with, you know, with all the herbs and everything. Okay, so this is the, we use, this is the duck meat, the minced duck meat. Okay, so he's gonna cook this. All right. And is he just sauteing it? Or is, did he put, he put oil in it? Was that what it was uh, at the beginning? That's, uh, it's the soup, not the oh, oil. Oh, the soup. You said the broth, I'm sorry. My, my. Mm-hmm. All right, and, okay, and yes. then, yes? Oh, no, I was, I, I was gonna ask, this dish is also one that you have in all the restaurants as well. Yes, and this is one of the most selling, best selling item in New York too. La pe. La pe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. And I wish like... you can smell. <laughs> Me I, too. I wish you can smell it, you know, like right through your. <laughs> but I only want to smell it if yeah. I can eat it. If I can only smell it, <laughs> that would be even worse, I think. But I would like to do both. <laughs> It really smells good right now. 
Yeah. Okay, so uh, you cook pretty started quickly to... here. I see. Yeah. Uh huh. So, Isan food is kind of like the food that it's you know doesn't take a long to eat. Like the except for the grilled dish, you know, the most of the Isan dish are quite fast to cook. But it just depends on the technique of the chef. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cause like what Isan people usually eat something very simple. Okay, so it's this is the start starting to get cooked. And okay, and so, and the meat is the meat is minced, right? It's not it's not ground up. It's just like cut, yes, it's like very very small. Yeah, kind of like minced duck, like roughly minced. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, like how to do it? Cut a cow. Cut a this is it. Okay. Ah, okay. So he can, he's gonna uh, put aside some of the some of the broth. The broth, yes. Mm. And does that broth get used somewhere? Are we gonna see that, or is he just? It might be bit. Yeah, the broth is used later, but it's not used. It's not used. No, we okay. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. we're not gonna use it anywhere else. Okay. Okay. So next, I'm mm sorry, -hmm. Okay, and then we put the this is the roasted rice. Oh. Okay, and this is the a lot of chili powder. A lot ah. of chili powder. <laughs> you don't get a you don't get too much of a choice here. I'm sure that you <laughs> lower it, but. And this is the lime juice. Lime juice, sure. Mm -hmm. so Make sure it's it. lime, not lemon. You know, because like Thai food always use lime, not lemon. Right. And th this is the fish sauce. Okay. Okay. And mix everything together. Okay. And I want to tell you a little bit about about this ingredient, the the roasted rice. Yes. This is very important ingredient when you make lab because. Because like all the lab dishes needs this ingredient, otherwise it won't be lab. We call it khao kua. So like khao means rice and kua is roast. So this is the roasted rice. Khao kua. Khao kua. And khao, okay, we use the sticky rice and uh, roast it with the uh, kafalan leaves. Let me lay one half. And some uh and and some, and some herbs. Okay. It is how cool. Okay. So and does it, it adds a little texture as well? I mean it, it adds a little crunch there. Uh, well, yeah, it, it adds a, like a little bit of like crunchiness, like when you eat, you know, like kind of like uh it's gonna be like a little bit crunchy, like feeling, and yeah. it, but uh, and it also adds the aroma, cause uh -huh. like when you roast the rice, it gives the aroma, cause like the okay. rice is roasted with the castor lime, and so okay when you put it in, you you get the smell Very of you know the uh, yeah aromatic the herbs and okay the a, a little bit crunchiness of the rice, okay and he mix it okay today can you come and take a look at the Say yeah. at, at the part, okay, then next, okay, okay, when uh, okay. they put put the chili in already, and next, okay, pick, uh -huh. okay, he's gonna get some chili, okay, oh, more chili, okay, huh? some chopped chilies, okay, one uh, moment, please, chopped chilies, yes. yeah, and okay. you can really see how balanced this is gonna be. I mean, we're talking yes. about ingredients that are spicy and sour uh, okay. and. And this sweet is the and herbal and funky. This the is shallots. the green, uh, yeah, yeah. The shallots, the green onions. Okay. And this is the coriander, and this is a coriander. It's a, another kind of coriander, but different kind of leaves. Uh huh. Each, is that... and you know, like each ingredient has different taste. You know, like like in Thailand, we have different kinds of coriander. We call it pak chi. There are many types of pak chi. And we have we use two types of pak chi in this dish, coriander and coriander. Coriander. <laughs> so uh, here, coriander oh, and coriander. Uh, coriander. So we. Um, coriander. Yeah, I think we, in the U.S. we call it cilantro, 
And then culantro, I think, is what we call the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, culantro. Cilantro, yes, cilantro and culantro, exactly. Yeah. And then we put yeah, we just put some uh, chili, like uh, chopped chilies in it, mm -hmm. and then we mix, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, like how? Okay. Oh my gosh! Look at all those colors. The red, yeah, green, mm -hmm. purple. Um, oh yeah. So, so uh, we had a question about um, about your connection to Isan. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. are, are you from the, the Northeast, from the Isan region? No, unfortunately, I'm from Bangkok. But my oh. partner, you know, and, and, our, and our executive chef is from Isan. Uh -huh. He's from, uh, the, our executive chef is from Sakonakorn, which is an, a, a province in Isan. So, you know, like all the recipes, you know, is from him and, you know, he grew up in sure. Isan. So, so we have to, we, you know, like when we created all the recipes, you know, we, you know, like we discussed in our group that we, everything got to be, you know, an authentic taste, you know, the way Isan people eat at home. Now, okay, here they come. Okay, this is the, okay, this is this, this is the cilantro. That's okay. cilantro. This okay. one is this one, cilantro. And this one, you can see, you know, it's long oh, and it's difference. like, Absolutely. This, yeah, this is culantro, this one. And yeah. both, you know, I have different aroma. I personally prefer this. This one is very good, you know, like when you can put it in, in, in also some isan soup as well, you know. And yeah. this is, you know, like, I think like most of the people will know this because this is like, all, all, like most of the Thai dishes use this. This is you call cilantro. Yeah, and in the U.S. you cilantro. see cilantro very, very often, but yes. kulan I think is a little harder to find and uh, yeah. uh -huh. for for us. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look at those two dishes again because they were okay. They look yes. so delicious. Let's get a yeah. So there's the uh, the sum tum with uh, the salted egg. Yeah, uh, tam thai kai kem. Tam yeah, tam kai tam. Tam Thai Kai Kim. Tam Kai Kim. Tam Thai Kai Kim. Yes. You think I would have learned Thai by now? Kai Kim. Tam Tam Kai Kim. Kai Kim. I'm working on it. And then the lab, the lab with the duck. Lab pe. Yeah. Lab pe. Pe. Lab pe. Lab pe. Pe. Okay. Pe. Pe means duck. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And when you. Uh, you also have lab kai, right? If you wanted chicken, that's kai is it. chicken. Yes. Kai. All right. So and I'm using some of the words I learned. And yeah, lab very good. <laughs> you can do lab mu, like pork. Lab mu is pork, uh, right? Mu is pork. Mm -hmm. Ah, and nua, lab nua, right? Would be Beef. another option. Beef. All right. Mm -hmm. So Beef. I didn't do so bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> if there's any, uh, if there's any last questions for, uh, uh, for Tat, uh, uh, oh, Joe asked if you could open yes. a location in Queens. That would be very nice if you could come to Queens. Uh, we wish maybe our next, uh, maybe the next branch. Maybe so next. Uh, you just have to support, you know, like uh, all the two branches more often. That's what you got to do, <laughs> Joe, and yes. all of us. Oh, and also a request <laughs> for the Upper West Side of Manhattan. So if we go to their other two locations enough, mm -hmm. Maybe they will open in your neighborhood as yes. well. <laughs> and if you um, have any requests, you can direct it to our, you know, to my team, Kun Nui or Kun Supani. You know, feedback to her. You know, where you want our next sometime there to be open. That's great. Well, congratulations on all of the, the expansion and 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 bringing. Uh, thank you for bringing Isan. Thank food you so to, much to uh, mm -hmm. to places like New York. Um, I I'd love to bring on Ticha uh, if she's still around. Mm -hmm. We could do a proper thank you. And I I, I want to thank uh, Thai Select uh, USA again for sponsoring these programs. Make sure everyone mm -hmm. checks out our our interactive map and our previous programs. Thank you both. Or all, all, all three of you, or four of you, because I know there's some Thank behind you so the much. scenes as well. Um, this has been this has been great, and I kapkun uh, krap. No, yeah, kapkun krap. Kapkun krap. Second guess to myself. Kapkun krap. Kapkun lai lai And and now everyone has a, a little bit of idea on how to order order correctly when they go to some tumder. 
in, in New York or, or Bangkok or, or elsewhere. So this has been great. Uh, thank you again, both of you, or again, all four of you for making this possible for <laughs> Thai Select. And thank you all for viewing and watching today. I hope you're all hungry and you're gonna go out and, and eat some delicious food. Um, okay. <laughs> and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye. Thank you Bye -bye. so much. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.